uh, how we can get actually that uh, happier, how we can be more stressful, and how we can actually start something new, as long as that you can spot the new opportunities, hence this program. So this program will give you uh, some tools, some techniques, and some instrument. First, do you have a dream? If you have, how we can turn this dream into resources? How we can identify an opportunity and convert this opportunity into resources. A resources to become more happier, a resources to become you know, that uh, uh, entrepreneur, uh, and then you can contribute to the society continuously. So I would like to ask first, Mark, uh, to start with why it is important that individuals should have a dream and how we can convert a dream into resources. Mark, Mark T. Jones, at the moment, you know that he's an international speaker, mentor, navigator, and he advised the various governments and also the various sectors, the individuals to become more aspirational, uh, you see, manager. He advises even ministers and secretaries to become effective ministers and secretaries throughout the world. And at the moment, he's actually editor in chief of the International Journal of Higher Education Management. Mark, if you can actually uh, uh, say, or you can start your slot about having a dream, why it is important and how we can convert a dream into resources. Thank you very much indeed, Doctor. Well, um, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's an absolute pleasure to be with you, especially in this age of COVID. We're all facing the most extraordinary challenges. And yet, here is a bright light that we can come together through the wonders of technology and we can engage with each other. We can start to share something of our aspirations, our hopes, possibly a few of our fears too. And we must start with the greatest thing that we can have on this journey, and that is a dream. Dreams are those fires within us that motivate they drive, they inspire, they challenge us. And so it's important, whatever stage you are in life, to have a dream. Many of us can look back to our childhood and reflect on the dreams we had then, dreams about professions and things that we hope to do in the future, whether in our personal life or in our professional lives. We need dreams. A dream isn't just wishful thinking, it's something that can act as a dynamo that keeps us going day to day. Because there are large dreams and there are little dreams. And each day we can have little dreams which add up to the greater dream, the large dream. So what is it that motivates you in regards to your dream? Is it a particular ambition, a hope, a fear, a jealousy, a rivalry? Many things drive us in different ways with regard to our hopes and dreams. Do you dream to build a better world, a more just society, like someone like Martin Luther King? Do you dream to eradicate suffering, like someone like Mother Teresa of Calcutta, our Saint Teresa? Do you dream to build up a corporate empire, like Richard Branson of the Virgin Group? What is your dream, and have you thought about it? Have you ever sat down and written it out, your hopes, your objectives, your targets. It can be a very helpful process sometimes to say, what is my dream? Do I dream to become a lawyer, a doctor, a surgeon? Do I dream to own my own business? What is your dream? Try and codify your dream. Try to reflect on it. Try to think, what is your destination? Where are you hoping to get to 
Will you get there straight away, A to B, or will it be a series of small steps on the way? You need to keep your dream before you because that is your map, that is your compass, that is your personal guide, your dream. We all have dreams. Some of them might seem fanciful. Some of them might seem extraordinarily ambitious. But what is your dream? What is going to help it become a reality? And what also might be a reality check, those things that can stand in the way or impede our progress to a dream. I've found in my life that dreams happen in stages and they alter at different stages in your life. They're not always a constant and there's nothing wrong with that. We are not the same at 21 as we are at 35 or at 45 or 65. Our priorities change. Do your priorities change? Have they changed? Is it because of you? Is it because of other people? Is it because of society or the wider world? All of us at the moment are facing an extraordinary challenge with the coronavirus crisis around the world. For some of us, our dreams are currently on hold for the time being. Others have turned it around and they've seen in a crisis an opportunity. They've used the time at home to write, to take up skills, to learn new courses, to undertake, undertake programs through Zoom and YouTube. It's often the way in which we look at our dreams and, and how we go about them that can make the difference. Many of you with your dreams will be thinking, well, the big problem is I don't have the money. I don't have the capital. But do you have the capacity? Often when we don't have the money, we often have the skill, the drive, the dream. And that's what will push us forward. And then eventually doors will open that will bring us some capital, some influence to take some steps forward. Often we can tell a lot about ourselves by our presence online. Many of you will have Facebook accounts, Instagram accounts, Twitter accounts. What do they say about you? What do they say about me? What do they say about our dreams, about the person we are and the person we want to become? One of the most important things has to be self-belief. Believing in self. If you don't believe in your dream, how can you expect anyone else to? You must believe in yourself, your abilities as a human being to affect positive change. I wonder how many of us today have done something positive, something that has brightened the life of someone else or of others or of the wider world. Each day we have the capacity to affect positive change. And positive change within ourselves affects positive change within others. One thing all of us can do to help take our dream forward is to upskill ourselves, learn new skills, new insights, new knowledge, new discernments asking questions of ourselves, of our friends, our colleagues, of the world. How do we become 
a wiser being. Because a wiser being is more likely to make the right choices as they head forward towards fulfilling their dream. What is it that you and I have done today? Well, we've done something remarkable. Here in this time of COVID, we've reached out. We've reached out to one another as strangers and we've done something remarkable. We've started to become friends through trust, through listening, through sharing, through shared experience, we grow in knowledge.